Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a grocery haul for you. I also have my meal plan. I'll be making a couple of different new things this week. One will be a new lunch that I've never made before and a new dinner. I do have a couple carryover meals too that I did not make last week. So the first one is a chicken tortilla soup. That one is a new recipe. I've never made this particular one. I'm gonna be using th those uh, cut the carb flatbreads to make some tortilla strips. I'll be making those in my meal prep video so you can see how I make those. I will pop the recipe for that chicken tortilla soup down in the description box. Um, two of the rollover meals from last week, the arroz con pollo and the taco salad. So I will link the arroz con pollo recipe down below. I'll be doing a shepherd's pie. I'll be putting a cauliflower mash on top of that. Uh, Mexican zucchini and beef and then I'm gonna be doing a Greek chicken with loaded cauliflower but I ended up getting broccoli and cauliflower so I'm just gonna do a loaded broccoli and cauliflower the Greek chicken I'll be using the Greek marinade from Thrive Market for that my lunches I'm gonna do some lettuce wrap burgers and then I'm gonna, I found a recipe for these spicy meatballs and I think I'm gonna do a cheesy cilantro um, cauliflower like cilantro lime cauliflower rice to go with that I'm going to be making some taco cheesy bites. Never made those before. I'll have those for snacks or lunch. So stay tuned for meal prep. I have quite a few things that I will be making in that video, which will be posted right after this one. So it should be posted on Monday. So let's go ahead and get into the haul and I'll show you what I picked up. So first off, drinks. Um, these I purchased online. So in case you did not know, Perfect Keto does have powdered electrolytes now. So they have quite a few new flavors. Um, I picked up two of them. So I have the watermelon and the black cherry. The watermelon is really good. I tried that one this morning. So definitely recommend those. I do have a link for Perfect Keto down below that can save you like 15% off. Picked up more of the Tazo Zen tea. I've been drinking this like crazy since I've been sick. I have never seen this one before. Maybe it's out around the springtime. Um, from Starbucks, but this is their spring day blend. This as uh, the notes are dusted cocoa and dried fruit So I've never tried this before never even seen it Let me know if you have and what you thought about it picked up a few energy drinks um, These are the adrenaline ones. They were on sale. So I went ahead and got these kind I got two of the fruit punch one watermelon and one of the ice berry Now produce <clears throat> as usual picked up quite a bit I'm gonna put some carrots in that tortilla soup, just a few carrots in there. And then celery is for um, snacking on and also for that tortilla soup. Lemons for my water. I've been actually doing really good with just drinking plain water with lemons. So I picked up quite a few of those. Romaine lettuce, I do also wanna do, that's for my lettuce wrap burgers. And then also if I do any lettuce wrap sandwiches or anything, I like to use the romaine for that. And then also just for salads. The shredded lettuce I like to use for um, sandwiches or wraps that I use with tortillas, that kind of thing. And I did pick up a few bag salads. I like to have these over the weekend. It's just a lot easier when I haven't done my meal prep yet. So I picked up a few of those. I picked up the Southwest Chopped Kit. And these are actually pretty low carb, even if you use everything in them, which I will sometimes use the dressing, but I usually don't use it the rest of the stuff. So this one is seven net carbs. And then the Steakhouse Wedge Chopped Kit. This one, I really like the blue cheese dressing that comes with this. And this one is only a five net carbs if you use everything. And then this one has a really good dressing to the avocado ranch dressing. And this one is six net carbs. And most of the carbs on these are coming from, like this one has crispy corn, so that's where most of that's coming from. And then the Wedge House Salad has crispy onions. And this one has tortilla strips, yes. So there's those. Avocados for, um, I'm gonna use some of them in that tortilla soup when I serve it up. And then also, of course, just for whatever. Limes, I needed some for the tortilla soup. And then also for that cilantro, lime, rice, cauliflower rice I'm gonna make. Tomatoes just for snacking on and for wraps and whatnot. Cauliflower for the cauliflower mash. 
green onions for salads, jalapenos, I needed some for that chicken tortilla soup, and then I wanted to make up some jalapeno poppers as well. Zucchini, I'll need two of them for that zucchini and um, the Mexican zucchini and beef recipe, and then one for the um, shepherd's pie. <coughs> Cilantro for the tortilla soup, and then also for that cauliflower rice. Pico de gallo for the taco salads and guacamole for the taco salads. Now onto a frozen. I pick up some chopped onions. I just like this whenever I need a lot of meals I have onions in them and quite a few of the things I'm making this week need onions. <clears throat> and this is what I'll use for the, they don't have just plain cauliflower in the frozen section. I just prefer when I make the loaded cauliflower that I use the frozen and I just steam it. So I picked up one thing of broccoli and then one broccoli cauliflower. And then Walmart is out of their cauliflower rice, which I really like because it's a lot bigger and it's a lot cheaper. But they did not have any, so I picked up just one. I have one in the freezer, so I picked up one more, so I had enough for what I needed this week. Dairy. Uh, they had, a Safeway, they had their Tillamook cheese two for six, and so I picked up some of the black smoked black peppers. This is really, really good. I really like the smoked black pepper. And then I picked up some Colby Jack cheese sticks. Um, mozzarella cheese. I don't really have a plan for this. I just like to have this on hand, but I got the mozzarella provolone mix, which, which is what I really like. Colby Jack for pretty much everything else. I don't really have a plan for the buffalo sauce, but I have planned to make a buffalo meal prep for several weeks now. I just keep forgetting to pick up the buffalo sauce, so I saw it. So I thought I'm just going to pick it up now, and then next week I'll probably do some kind of buffalo meal prep. I use the Worcestershire for a lot of things, but I need it for my shepherd's pie. Uh, bone broth, the beef for the shepherd's pie. I have a ton of the chicken bone broth in my pantry, so I'll, I didn't need to pick any up for that chicken tortilla soup. Roll bacon bits, um, these I use for the poppers, and I also probably use it for the loaded cauliflower and broccoli. Diced tomatoes for that tortilla soup. I needed two rotels, one for the zucchini and beef and one for the tortilla soup. Two things of green beans, one will be for the shepherd pie and then one of them just to have on hand for side dishes. I picked these little guacamole cups up. I thought they would be good for dipping like the celery in. I also like to make bacon chips and I thought I would make some of those in milk prep and then I have these little cups already portioned out and you don't have to worry about bad avocados, which is what I've been having an issue with lately. So, and they were on sale for like $2.79, so I picked up two of those. Needed some more garlic powder. I needed more mayo. Avocado oil. And then I've never seen this before. This is from Safeway also. Now, I've, got, I've picked up Walmarts before, but they are out quite a bit. And I saw this one, so when I picked it up, I like to use this like just on any desserts or coffee or whatnot, but this is a sugar-free whipped heavy cream. Half and half for coffee, and I needed a couple of recipes. I needed that for some eggs. I was completely out of keto bread, so I like to just keep this in the refrigerator in case I feel like having something with that. And lastly, the meat. I thought I may do some Italian wrap sandwiches um, over the weekend or something. So I picked up the Italian trios, provolone cheese, pepperoni, and the salami. And then to go on that, I really like to have pastrami on Italian sandwiches too. So I picked up some pastrami for that. Bacon for those bacon chips and then whatever else I want that for. Ground chicken for those chicken meatballs. And then ground beef for pretty much all the rest of the meals. And that is everything. So we'll have all the <clears throat> recipes I mentioned down below in the description box and stay tuned on Monday for meal prep and I'll see you guys in that video. Bye guys.